What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on the Noobs Guide. Clearly we are not on the Warrior. I'll get into that in a second. But today will be the first kind of spin-off episode. This is going to be Noobs Guide to attack, defense, accessories, armor, weapons, stuff like that. Accuracy, uh, bonus set bonuses, all of that different stuff. We're going to go into this today. I am currently on my Sorceress on Xbox because I have more resources over here as well as I have more um, of the items that I can show you and talk about. Some of this is going to apply to later on in the game when stuff continues to come out on PlayStation so that you guys have an idea of what you're working towards in the, you know, in the future. So it applies because a lot of this stuff you're going to be working towards Awakening and beyond and so I want to encompass a lot of the stuff that uh, will be coming out in the future as well. So let's get into this. Let's get this started. So first of all, what I want to talk about is the early game stuff. What you're going to want to do. Because that's where we are right now in the game. Uh, on PlayStation, we're at the early game. Not a lot in the game. So we'll start with the main hand weapon. So I'm going to use the Sorceress as an example because that's what I'm on. Obviously, you can apply most of this to other classes. I'll try to note some other things you'll want to keep in mind with other classes. But overall, these tips are generally universal. Uh, I don't really claim to be an expert on this or anything. I am just trying to help you guys out with my own personal opinions and my own personal tips. So, you know, if you, you, know, if you find someone saying something different you can go with that i'm not claiming that this is the perfect progression route but this is what i would suggest to anybody who asked me i guess okay so let's get into this so we are on the central market here this is going to be home for me to go over stuff prices obviously on xbox are going to be a little bit different than playstation so do keep that in mind and essentially let's hop into this the concept will still remain the same so going off the sorceress you're going to start, like I said in my videos, with the ultimate steed. So this is 28 to 32 AP. It'll give you a combined of 30. It's got 168 accuracy, which is very nice. You can see my tri has 184 accuracy, so it's not far off of that. It's a very nice weapon to get you started. Uh, it's what I would suggest to anybody. It's really cheap. You can buy it as soon as you start the game. And that's what I would suggest. As soon as you get to uh, Velia, this is the weapon you need to buy. The very first central market you get to, buy the Ultimate Steed. It'll help you blaze through the game at the beginning. Great weapon to start out with. Next, you have one of two choices. You can either just go ahead and use the Bastyr. I don't know if I have Bastyr here. Uh, do I have a Bastyr weapon? I don't, don't think I do. I don't think I have a Bastyr weapon anymore because I don't really ever use them. But you'll get a Bastyr weapon. It takes its own special Bastyr Blackstones. You can use that if you want. Progress it. It'll become a little bit better than the... Uh, it'll become a little bit better than the Ultimate Steed. And it'll progress you a little bit farther into the game. What you really want to be working towards is either Rosar. You either want Rosar or as well those are the ones that i suggest rosar as well or uria those are the three that i would go with uh depending on price and exactly what you're looking for um you can see that rosar is all ap and all accuracy up uria is all ap all accuracy up and additional damage to humans this is more of the pvp weapon you're going to want to get for early game pvp uh the rosar uh, doesn't have the additional damage to humans, so you can do, you can go with the uh, Rosar probably over the Uria for for regular farming, and then kind of as well as kind of the lower tier one that you can go ahead and upgrade. But it's also a very really decent one to go if you don't have if you want to go that over Rosar. Another one that you have the option of down here, not Callus, is Kria. Kria is not bad. It's not amazing, but it's not terrible, but it ends up being a little bit rarer than, and less 
fully available, I guess, than the rest of the options that you have. And so my personal preference is the Rosar. That's the one that I used um, to level up. And what you want to aim for really is the plus 15, but it's perfectly fine to save the money and go either plus 14, I would suggest plus 14, or go to plus 10 range and then look to upgrade to plus 14. Um, plus 14, you can see, is not that big of a decrease in damage, but it's about half the price. That's why I suggest it's a good spot. Um, and plus 10s are more readily available usually than 11 and 12. So that's why I suggest 10 over 11 and 12. If you can get 11 or 12, get that because the price difference is not that big. Otherwise, you want to step all the way down probably, which is then not worth it. Uh, but you want to go, if I if you can't afford the plus 15 off the rip, you want to do like plus 11, plus 12. Then you want to go to 14 and then you want to go to 15. Uh, and then once you get to 15, we'll go over that in a second. But it's kind of a little bit of a progression if you can't afford the plus 15. So just keep that in mind. After you get it to plus 15, I suggest not going to pry. I think you can farm enough money to be able to afford Laverto, which is the next step in the upgrade path for your main hand weapon. Laverto is... Not is the best on PS4 right now. It's not the best in the game, but it's the best on PS4. Uh, and the upgrades all the way up to try are fairly small in terms of price increase increments. Uh, the duo is the last... It's a bigger step to try than it is all the way up to duo, but it's still a small step up to try. And so my main goal is to focus on getting a try... I don't really suggest getting anywhere past try Laverto, so Tet and Pen, I wouldn't go to that with Laverto. You can on PlayStation if they take a while getting world bosses in, which is the next thing that we'll talk about. But mainly I would suggest stopping at try. It's kind of the it's kind of the final step that you want to go for regular weapons. You can take the green weapons to try, but do not take them to Tet or Pen. I just don't think it's worth it. You definitely don't want to take Laverto Bass Try. If you go from the green, like Try Rosar to Try Laverto to Try Kazarko, which we'll talk about in a second, um, that's no problem. That's what I did personally. I went to Try Rosar because it was really cheap, and then I went to Try Laverto because it was cheap. Uh, and then I spent like one day with Try Laverto, and then I went to Try Kazarka because I could afford it. So once you have Try... Laverto, obviously, then you're going to do try Kazarka, which I don't need. there's Kazarka. Kazarka, once again, small incremental increases all the way up to try, then a larger bump to Tet, and then an even larger bump to Pen. So Kazarka is the world boss, which I'll show you on the map. Uh, if we go here, when it spawns in on PlayStation, whenever that occurs, Kazarka is right over here. Here is Kazarka. That is just south of Heidel, next to Castle Ruins, Swamp Foggins. Uh, it's at Serendia Shrine. Uh, that's where Kazarka is. You can get world boss drops and get the boss weapon. So that's how you get Kazarka. Otherwise, you have to buy it off the central market, which is what I did. Um, I tend to buy all of my gear off the central market. It's a little harder on PlayStation now because there's not as much stuff av readily available for people to sell. Once people are all, we're all hitting level 56, which is, I would say about another week or two, stuff should become more readily available on the auction. Uh, and so until then, you'll probably have to do upgrading on your own. But for most things, I don't personally enjoy the RNG randomness of upgrading per on my own. So I'll do it up to plus 15, maybe. But anything past that, I don't have any interest. So I just buy it off the central market, save myself the headache, and just go from there. I've tried plenty of time to upgrade. It doesn't go well for me. I pretty much am just over the frustration of that. I just buy stuff off the central market. So, that is it for the main hand. Pretty much progression is Rosar. I'll use Rosar as the example. You can use any of the green ones, but I personally used Rosar. Rosar to either plus 15. Depending on how the game goes, if Laverto stays rare, you get that from Guild Boss Scrolls. Um, 
And so if that stays more rare within the game, you can take the Rosar to, to try before you go to Liverto try, uh, depending, it just kind of depends on the market and how it's fluctuating and how much money you personally have. So like, keep that in mind, but it's either plus 15 or try Rosar to try Liverto. If you're at plus, for, fi, plus 15 Rosar, you can go to, to duo Liverto and then either try Liverto or just go straight to try Kazarka. Those are your kind of, that's your options. So moving on to your sub weaponry, we have the ornament, no, not the ornamental, not the talisman on the sorceress. And so for this, it's pretty simple. You want to stay kind of you want to you want to probably use the bestir one you get this is where i would probably suggest you use your bestir one for a little while make your bestir one plus one and just use that for a fair amount of time and then for the sorceress i always prefer attack on my weapons so that makes the jubray talisman the one that i want and really if you can just get the plus 15 jubray and then go from there to do a pry, duo, try, work up while you're kind of uh, working up your your AP. Once again, I don't suggest going to Tet. It's just not really worth it. Um, instead, you want to go with Kudum or Nover, uh, depending on what you want to do, which that'll be a while before it's in the game. So if you can get yourself to try Jubre or try of whatever the best attack one is for your... Um, for your class, you'll be all set up to go for when Nova or Kudum comes out. They're both world bosses, same as Kazarka, so it just kind of depends on whatever you want to do. Um, kind of consensus is 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 that you'll tr you should go from Tri Jubre to one of the world bosses because it's gonna be a while before they come out, so you might as well get Tri. Um, on your secondhand weapons, so you can just go straight to try when those come out. Uh, they're kind of short and easy. I'll delve a little bit into Awakening at the end of the video. It's not as important for this video for PlayStation since that's not out yet. So let's move on to armor. So your first set of armor is going to be an armor, in my opinion, you should go for the free armor. I don't have it on me. I don't believe in this. I don't have it... I don't think I save it anymore because it doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't have it anymore, but it's called Lords, and you'll collect it while doing the main story. It's fairly decent armor, and so you'll want to use that armor until you probably get to level 50 to 52. That's when I would try to make the upgrade to plus 15. Uh, the only thing that I would suggest is using the Dim Magical Armor here. Uh, they don't have the upgrades in the game just yet, but I would expect them to come very soon. Uh, and that will unlock the, you to get to the Roaring Magical Armor, which you can see is a very good armor. I'm currently wearing Triagarian, and so the Roaring Magical Armor at 60 for free is, a much, is very comparable to 102 million silvered um, chest piece. And with a lot of the sets for armor, you only need three three um, pieces of the armor. So you can use the Roaring Magical Armor, the chest piece, and then you can have helmet, gloves, and shoes of the set that you actually want to use. So that's one of the great things about the armor is that you're able to use the Roaring Magical Armor. Uh, but for now... It's just the Dim Magical, which is still 48, still a really good armor piece, and so I still think you should use it until you feel safe, you feel comfortable spending money to upgrade it to a duo or tri piece of armor. Um, I wouldn't get a pry over it. It's just not worth the money spent for the minimal gain. So I would look for duo or tri in the armor. But let's talk about the armor pieces in the game that you have access to and kind of the upgrade path. So... Personally, um, I love Agarian because it gives you the attack speed plus two and the casting speed plus two. It's my, f I love it. It's the set that I use on my Sorceress. It's the set I transfer over to other characters. I really love this set. 
The set that's going to be most recommended, and that's the one I'll talk to you guys about, is the Grunel set. Um, I actually went ahead on my when I started this, and I did Zareth to take the extra damage to all species plus five. So I actually did Zareth, but Grunel is the one that's most universally suggested. While I love Agarian, I do get, you know, why Grunel is so heavily uh, suggested. It gives AP plus five uh, for the two set effect, max HP plus 150 for the three set effect, and it's one of the rare ones where it has a four set effect of all AP plus two. So that's where you'll have to determine if the money spent on the chest piece for the fourth piece of Grunel is worth the plus two AP, or if you want to save the money um, on the Grunel, essentially. Um, so with Grunel, I suggest getting it to plus 15. Uh, the jump from plus 15 to pry is a pretty big jump. So the goal simply should be for you to get it to plus 15. Get all the pieces that you have to plus 15. It's pretty simple as that. Then, depending on how long they take to add field bosses and all of that different stuff on PlayStation. Um, yeah, it'll be plus 15. You can try to go to... I wouldn't go past Duo. Um, I know I have Triagarian because I want the set bonus and I'm saving up money right now uh, for better gear. But the Duo to try price increase is just crazy. And it just... It, it's a sizable increase. Like, I get why it's that way. It's a sizable increase. But my point is, is that you're really not trying to get this armor set to that high. Your main goal is to get to um, the boss type stuff. You're trying to get to this set of armor. You're trying to get to the boss set of armor. And so, I just don't think it's the best to take it to try. I have tried because I actually got them for the lowest price possible, and that's why I went ahead and bought them. Um, and I know I can resell them when I'm ready to buy the stuff, but point is, is that I think you should just take them to Duo. That's just my personal preference and my personal opinion. Then, when the stuff is added to the game, you'll be looking to pick up Gaieth Helmet. You'll be looking to pick up um, Red, Red Nose Armor is the one you really want, in my opinion, um, Dim Tree Spirit's fine as well, but I prefer, uh, Red Nose's armor. Doesn't really matter, they're both really good pieces of armor, but Red Nose's isn't cheaper, and it has relatively the same, the same stuff for you, so I just prefer Red Nose. You can go Red Nose and then upgrade to Dim Tree Spirit's if you want, but I do suggest, uh, Red Nose's first. That's pretty much just my opinion. That's, that's how... The progression, I mean, it's pretty easy. The progression is simple here. Begs Gloves is what I'm currently saving up for. You can see I have a lot of saving because I need Try Begs, but that's what I'm currently working on on this character, is, is trying to get some Try Begs. There's actually tr Begs up, but obviously I have to pay close to 700 million gold for the Try Begs. Uh, but that's that, and then the shoes, you want to get... Um, the muskin shoes that's what you want to get next there so that's what you're working for you're working towards the boss armor and you're working for essentially duo or tri boss armor and then obviously after you get there then you can work towards tet and pen of the boss armor pretty self-explanatory the armor is not too difficult uh you want to get the the grunel to plus 15 and then you want to work on saving money for the boss gear pretty simple as that not not too difficult. Uh, the armor is one of the easier things. It's only got pretty much one layer of progression. Now comes the little complicated parts here, is the accessories. So when you're progressing through the game, you're going to get to this, which is the Treant spir Spirits stuff. And you're going to get this stuff. The necklace is at the for the Treant Forest. The ring is at Mansha Forest. Earrings are at Lake Kaya. And the belt is at Rudum Outstation. Um, the three set effect is all damage reduction plus five. If you're going to wear these, I would suggest getting at least the three set effect. Um, the only issue with that is we're going to talk about another set in a second, which is the Asula set, which you want the five set effect. So you can't run Treant and Asulas together. That's kind of the issue. You're also going to get this Kaya necklace for free for playing through the main story. So you're going to want to use that. It has um, 
7 damage and 2 defense. Uh, the Tree Ant Spirit stuff, you can't upgrade it, which is kind of a bummer. I wish you could upgrade it because it's fairly easy to get to drop. And so I really wish you could pick it up. Um, you, or you could upgrade it, so then it would be more worth it to pick it up. It sells for 46000 it's whatever, but you can't sell it on the auction. Uh, so that's kind of the one tragic thing about it. After that, you're going to want to go and head and get the Asula set. This is the most important thing in the game. You can skip the tree ants if you want, but I want to stress that Asula's is by far the most important thing in this game. For the beginning, I mean, once you get past Asula's, obviously, it's no longer the most important thing in the game. But at this point in the game, especially on PlayStation, Asula's is so important. You can see the Asula's Crimson Eye Ring base is 7 attack and 2 defense. And even when you upgrade this, it doesn't get wildly that much better. Um, but it is worth it. I'll go over a, a thing in just a second going over it, but... To get these, I'll show you on the map because they're that important to get. Um, there is uh, Abandoned Iron Mine here, which you get the um, the necklace at. Uh, that's pretty good farm spot. It's one of my favorite farm spots in the entire game. And so Abandoned Iron Mine, that's where you get the necklace. Up here at uh, Helm's Post is where you get the ring and the earrings, I believe. Is it rings and earrings? I always forget these. E yeah, rings and earrings at Helm's Post. And the Helm's Post is nice because it's closest to um, a town that you may have nodes in. So I'll go over nodes in another episode, but the Asula set's not super common drop. It drops fairly high at Abandoned Iron Mine, but I have had horrible luck at uh, Helm's Post. Elric Shrine right here next to Helms is where you can get the belt. If you're having trouble, you'll want to connect the nodes here by investing contribution points into them. And so in order to do that, you want to go over to node management. You click A on the site or X on PlayStation and then swipe over to go to node management. You can invest contribution and then after you invest contribution, you can invest energy. Um, you can invest 10 energy to to increase your drop rate. Uh, you can. I would invest uh, 10, so it's 100 energy, uh, in order to kind of maximize your drop rate. And so if you want, you can link, you'll need to link it all the way there. And so the quickest route is to go from Velia, uh, I believe, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, it's going to be from Velia because it's like one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six. It's definitely from Velia. You want to connect it from Velia and then you can invest in Helm's Post. Helm's Post is probably the most important one because it has double drop there. And as long as you're getting them dropped, that's great because I'm going to show you right now what you can do. So I'm going to go ahead and withdraw. I have an Asula's Crimson Eye necklace here. And do I... Actually, I can just do it with one necklace. So... At the jeweler, if you come over, you can do this at any jeweler. If you go to the jeweler here, Belgar, and talk to the jeweler, you can exchange the necklaces for the upgrade material you need. So for Asula's Weakened Magic Necklace, I will get, or I'll get two Asula's Weakened Magic Necklaces for one Asula's Necklace. So when you trade it in, you'll get the, you'll get the two necklaces. The only issue is, is you can't really do this unlimitedly because when you trade it in, you get two. You need three in order to make another one. But what you can do here is say you get like six necklaces, okay, and you need, you still need two rings. You can break down the necklaces and you can switch the weakened rings, the weakened necklaces to weakened rings. So I'll go ahead and do this. We can get two of them. And there you go, two Asula's weakened rings. Now, if I have another ring, I could trade that in to make a full ring to use on my character. So that's one of the great things that you can do with the Asula set. Um, and I would suggest doing that, getting yourself the full Asula set before you go ahead and upgrade it at all. 
And then with the upgrades, it's fairly simple. All you need to do with the upgrades, in my opinion, is get a get one to pry, then get a second one to pry, and then be able to get then get a third one to pry, and then work on the third one to get it to duo. And if you get that one to duo, take it off or put it on over a pry one and get that pry one you took off to duo and then try to get that one to try. Because um, the Asula set, you know, you have to go farm it again. You can't buy it. So I always want to make sure I'm not like losing a piece of my armor trying to upgrade it. So my main goal is just to always have a piece of Asula's and upgrade it incrementally over each other. I pretty much am stopping at duo. I just don't see the point of going past that. I have tri necklace, but overall, I don't see the point of going past duo uh, with the Asolas because you really should be upgrading it. Uh, and after I get Begs gloves, I will be up late. I will be upgrading it on here. But the Asula set is super key. Uh, it's one of the major sets in the game. One more thing that you can do on the central market if you want upgrades sooner than Asula's or the Treants is to go to, and these will become more readily available later in the game, is the Bears set. It's a really cheap set that you can buy, um, and you can get the try for like $2 million, and you can see it's pure attack. It's not the greatest, obviously, but it's fairly cheap and provides you with a lot of attack. Um, if there were a bunch of pen up, I would actually buy it and use it, but there isn't, so... Consequently, you know, you're stuck with it. But do keep in mind for a lot of it, if you have lower than duo, it's hard to sell. Uh, once it gets later in the game, it's a very hard piece of jewelry to sell within the game. So what are you supposed to do after you get the Asula set? So to upgrade from the Asula set with the rings, we'll start with this. You want to go with Mark of Shadow. Mark of Shadow is where I would go next. Um... You don't have to. You can skip over it, but I'm not. I'm not huge on skipping it because the price increase to where you want to go next is real high. Like I said, these are just my suggestions, but I would go Mark of Shadow to Ring of Crescent Guardian, and the Mark of Shadow you can get equipped at, or you can get geared out with a duo, which is nine attack, uh, slightly better than the Asula's. The try is kind of in an iffy area for me. It's, it's kind of at a price range where it's kind of iffy for me if I would even want it. But the duo is fairly priced, and that's kind of where I would go next. Then I would go to Ring of Crescent Guardian, and obviously you're aiming for duo, and then try. Um, and then obviously all the way up, but try is the next one. It's got 14 attack, obviously. Clearly much better than the Asulas. So if you want to go straight to Ring of Crescent Guardian if you have the money, that's what I, that's what I suggest. For the necklace, so on the necklace, your your final goal is the Ogre Ring. Um, it's one of the best pure attack things in the game. 35 pure attack and 24 accuracy at pen. Uh, it's one of the best things in the game. And so that's your final goal. But working your way up there, there's actually a couple of different routes you can go. Uh, the Ancient Guardian Seal is a pretty good bang for your buck at duo. It gives 10 attack and 5 defense. Now, obviously, it's not better than Triasulas, uh, but you might not have Triasulas, so do keep that in mind. But duo is pretty good bang for your buck for the Ancient Guardian Seal. And if you compare, and if you combine that with the Ancient Weapon Core, which is a belt, uh, it's actually pretty good with plus 20 to accuracy, which is the 5 set bonus for the Asulas. Uh, actually a really good kind of combination that you can do there the other another option is the necklace of schultz gladiator actually has a fairly fair price on it and it increases your attack by a large sum um personally i really like this i'm already considering getting it over my asula's crimson eye necklace because it's only 154 for try and it increases it would be a neutral ev swap it's both 16 but it would give me five extra attack uh, or even the Tet, uh, if one ever showed up. The other option is to go with the Seraphs before you go to, um, the, uh, Ogre Ring. Because obviously Ogre Ring is really expensive. You, um, you're gonna want to save up to do that. The other option is Diamond Necklace of Fortitude. This is the one I was looking for. Um, it's kind of a mid option, um, if you 
if you want to do it before Asula's. It's a, it's not cheap, but it's fairly cheap, and it, it's a decent option. But Syrups is the next one. Uh, Duo is the one that I think you should get. Uh, it's not as it's not super fairly priced, but it's a decent deal, and it's like I said, it's an even swap from the Tri Asula's, so it'll be an upgrade over your Pry or uh, Duo Asula's that you have for the necklace. I already went over um, the uh, Ogre Ring, so we don't need to do that. Got our attendance reward for the day. Uh, but which, which I'll go ahead and open it since we're talking about the accessories right now because it's going to either give me Ogre Ring, Ring of Crescent Guardian, Basilisk Belt, or Toon Grad Earrings, which we'll talk about all of that stuff in a second. So I'll go ahead and pop this just for the heck of it. See what we get out of here. And we got the Ring of Crescent Guardian. Nice. Okay. So back to the important video. Um, accessories, earrings. So with the earrings, I would definitely focus on Asula's. It's kind of your best deal. Other than that, it's like blue coral or red coral. Um, blue coral, if your character doesn't need the accuracy as much. Red coral, if it does. My character does need the accuracy, but blue coral is what I have right now because I wanted the higher AP. But yeah, that's kind of how those work. Those are kind of your upgrades past um, Asula's. It's, it's kind of tough with the earrings because Witch's earrings is kind of what you want after that. You want to go from like red coral, blue coral to Witch's. You can go Manus Ruby if you need DP, but if you want AP, go Witch's earrings after red coral and blue coral. And... Witch's Earrings is what people are farming at Hexay Sanctuary. It's like the only thing you want to get at Hexay, essentially. It's a fairly expensive item, but you can get the earrings at Duo for a decent price. Try is a little bit more expensive. It's kind of a hard thing for me to go with Witches, but uh, they do have good value. Um, but your main goal is to get to Tungrad. Uh, Tungrad is really nice. I tried to get Duo Tungrad, and it went horribly. It was a nightmare, but uh, Tungrad is really good. It has the item effect of Black Spirit Rage plus 10%. This video is going to be really long, I just realized, because I am talking, but T Tungrad is really good. Um, it's a really good upgrade once you get past Blue Coral and Red Coral. I have no problem, though, with Tungrad being your last upgrade, over going over red or blue coral or Sula's whatever you currently have it's probably the thing that i would suggest doing last out of all the accessories finally we have the belts so pretty much my suggestion for belts is either to go belts of schultz gladiator or go ancient weapon core if you want to pair it with the ancient guardian seal those are kind of your two choices, and there's not really much other choices here um, other than to go with the Asula's Belt. I don't think I would choose much of this over that, and so it's either Belt, Schult Gladiator, Wange of Weapon Core, or the Asula's Belt, and then you want to focus on um, Basilisk's Belt, which is the main... Um, gear here you're probably going to focus on duo before you go to focus on try uh and you can see the duo is a big upgrade even over my duo duo asula's crimson eye belt and so the basilisk belt is really what you want to go for the most and it's probably what i would suggest to go for first either that or the ring is probably what i would suggest um for for the uh the main upgrades for your accessories so, one final tip I have, uh, you will need some buddies for this, probably. I haven't tried it solo, I haven't even tried it at all, because I haven't, I just didn't do it on Xbox, because I just buy plus 15, which is better than that. Uh, but right over here, so I'll show you, let me explain this better. The general good vendor is right here. Here is Malopoly here in Altanova, uh, out here on the edge of the world right here for comparison there's the abandoned iron mine wandering road den mains and uh, soldiers graveyard so if you wrap around the corner here to the left you're going to see this ramp that goes up so you're going to want to take the ramp up and around here go past the guild manager and all the way down to the end here 
There's a quest line here. It takes about two hours to complete it uh and it will award you the black abyssal weapon now i don't have the black abyssal weapon on me right now obviously because i haven't completed the quest i will be doing the quest on playstation to get that weapon because i think it's a good thing to get over there i don't really need it on con on xbox anymore i just i just don't need it for over here i might consider getting it um maybe i'll maybe that'll be like my first live stream i'll get it over here uh, so that I can use it when new characters come out for the game over here. But uh, other than that, it's kind of useless for, for me on Xbox. But it's definitely a usable item on PlayStation. I believe it's like 78.94 is the attack. It's like 78 to 94 damage. And so that's a pretty good medium of the road weapon. But it's still kind of if you can get a plus 15 weapon the plus 15 weapon is comparable um early and then obviously upgrading to the pry try pry duo and try is going to make it better um it, it evens out at about 80 which is better than a plus 15 i will say that but it's not an easy quest line to do that's why i'm saying that the plus 15 is comparable just based on you can get the plus 15 on your own you probably will have to ask for help in order to complete the black abyssal weapon quest so yeah that's kind of that's kind of it with the black abyssal i will be doing it on my ranger so and i will try to do it solo don't know if i'll be able to do it solo but we'll try it and if i need to call in some support i will I'll probably just ask some of you guys to help me out with it but uh yeah, I will be trying that on my Ranger whenever we get there. I'll be trying to get the Black Abyssal stuff. But that's going to do it for this video. Uh, if you guys don't know, I respond to every comment I possibly can on the game. Or on the game, in the comments. So if you have any further questions related to anything, uh, upgrading gear and all of that different stuff, let me know. Um, i tried to do my best with this guide for you guys. I hope... Uh, you guys got something out of it. I know it's kind of hard to explain the what you should be upgrading and what you shouldn't be and where you should stop with stuff, but I hope I did at least a decent job with it. I don't know. I, I, I did my best. It's, it's my tips. Um, like I always try to tell you guys, I'm not... Don't claim to be an expert on Black Desert. Um, and so pretty much that's that's gonna do it uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video tomorrow we'll have a normal episode and um we'll have a normal episode of the the warrior noobs guide not one of these but uh maybe on sunday we'll have another version of these and i'll try to go over nodes a little bit more i know i did a brief little thing over it here just so you guys could do the invest energy if you wanted to farm uh any of the asula's pieces because they their drop rates are not great but yeah, give me some feedback, guys. Let me know. Like always, ask questions if you need any specific answers. And I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.